Hello, uh, it's great to see you. Um, thank you for being here. My name is Matt. It's been a while, um, and today we're going to talk about how to create these kind of GUI text trend transitions. So, you, know, you have some text, and right now we have it sort of mapped on this 3D object, but we can also take a look at it here, um, where you kind of just have it more static and as a kind of just nice way to visualize some text. Um, this was taken inspiration from this artist, Mishko, who has some really cool motion design stuff. Um, and yeah, um, part of the reason it's been so long since I have done a tutorial is I actually got a full-time job doing Touch Designer um, at my studio. Got a shout out to Bullbox Labs. If you're in, New York, you're in New York, come by, say hi, we'd love to see you. If y'all are interested, I could talk more about what it's like to work in a studio like this and how I actually got a full-time job doing Touch Designer. But that's for another time. Let's get into the tutorial and let's figure out how we can recreate this lovely effect. So I'm going to start off with creating a nice new base. And let's get the most basic part of this effect going. So let's bring in a text top. I'm going to choose my um, text I want. So um, I'm going to say don't stop now. And something that I like to do um, instead of like kind of zooming in very close what I'll do is whenever I'm working with a piece of um, texture, what I'll do is I'll connect it to a null. You know, when you're first starting off, knowing why to use nulls is always kind of like something that's confusing, but you know, this is something that I like a lot. You know, just always having a null at the end of the chain with the viewer active, this blue button over here, so you can see what's going on. Okay, this looks terrible. Let's go into this text top. I'm gonna go to the common page and we want to set our resolution. And because I'm on non-commercial, uh, I'm going to go to the highest that I like for 16 by 9, 1280 by 720. Um, so this is looking a little bit better. I am going to increase the font size quite a bit. And now I am going to do kind of the, you know, base of the technique. So. What I'm going to do is insert a transform. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, over here in the translate Y, I'm going to pull this all the way to the top. All the way to the top, just so just this bottom line that I want to extend down is there, it's too much. Um, a reminder, I am middle clicking to uh, kind of do this. And I think that will do good for us. What I will do now is put another transform here. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the tile page and I'm gonna go extend to hold. Now, what I can do is bring this all the way down. And now that I have this, now we can get to, now we have our trail. Let's composite it again. I'm gonna put one more transform in there. And with this, I'm gonna kind of bring it down to this place that I like. I'm not gonna worry too much about where this lands up. Now, I'm going to bring this down a little bit. Let's uh, middle click and um, get another transform coming out of this text. And I am going to put this into a composite. And we're going to go into the operation and hit over. And we're going to plug in this transform into this composite and then we can plug in the composite out into our null. 
Now all we have to do is go back to this initial transform over here, hit the translate, bring it up a little bit, and we are looking good. That looks like a trail to me. I think, I think that is just about it. So, you know, we can play around with this edge over here um, and just adjust it ever so slightly uh, to get a little dif bit different of a length. I kind of like it a little bit thinner. Or no, that's, that's thicker actually. So I think that looks pretty good. What I'm also going to do is you can see that it's faded a little bit, or it's kind of gotten a little blurry right before um, it goes into this composite. I'm going to put in a level and just kind of pump up that brightness just a little bit. And that's looking nice. That looks like a texture. Um, you can see there's like a little bit of a, a gap under here. So I'm just going to play around with the transform. Just kind of line it up the way it looks. Okay, there we go. That's it. All right, so we have the most basic of the effect. Lovely. So what I'm going to do now is uh, actually do one of my favorite new things, um, which is create a annotation, which is great. Um, create text. Uh, texture. Um, you know, I'm very excited. This is a new feature and the new release of Touch Designer, and we can be nice and organized now. Wow. All right, so now that we have kind of this basic layout of things, um, what I want to do is get the um, kind of mask that will give the animation on here, where we can really start to have some fun. Um, but actually, before we even do that, let us um, choose a better font because this is a default font. I am going to go to um, back to Google. I am using Google Fonts. Um, there are some really cool resources out there to find cool fonts, um, but that's not for right now. Um, I chose this one, which I like. You just go and hit download, and that will give you a zip file and your text file. So I can go over to text and hit over on font file. And I will go to downloads and I will go to righteous and hit this text file. And that's looking pretty good. I just need to adjust my mask a little bit. I'm going to move it. Uh, nice. And move it bit and I'm gonna to go to transform you know this will be different for you what font you use and um, what words you use and that is looking pretty nice so now let's get that nice ramp texture on there um, what I'm going to do is over here create a ramp and I'm gonna make sure to go over to the resolution and hit change that to 1280 by 720. I am going to go to type, change that to circular, and kind of choose a nice little color scheme that I like. Um, so I'm going to do kind of like a little purple over here, and over here, and then all the way at the end, I'm going to kind of go, I think, this kind of teal color. And in the middle, I want this dark blue. And then over, kind of over here, I want this nice little, I think this orange. I think that will be nice. I'm going to bring the period down a little bit. And let us animate this phase. So I'm going to click on phase on this blue expression button. And type in uh, abs time dot seconds. And let's go times 0.4. That looks pretty nice. So from here, I'm going to put this into a null because this is something that we're going to be want. We're going to want to switch a bunch. And 
we're going to put this into a uh, composite. And we're going to want to leave that on multiply. We're going to bring this level down over here. And we can see that's looking pretty nice. And we're going to go up to this composite over here. And now we are starting to really look like we're getting somewhere. So let's um, do something to make the background black to really get the effect of this. I'm going to put a transform here. And put this over here at 1 and comp over background color. And that will just get rid of any alpha and make your background black. So just to go over what I just did now, um, we make this a little cleaner. I'm even going to move this out of here. There we go. We're just creating this ramp, animating it, compositing it over the trails, and bringing that into um, this composite. Excellent. So in order to kind of get these kind of gooey, um, I'm going to do some simple displacement. I am going to add a displace node over here. And now I am going to bring in a noise. I'm going to, um, I think I want to bring up the period and bring up the exponent. Then I'm going to go to transform again. With this, personal preference. It really does not matter. Um, you need to go to resolution, bring that up to 1280. Um, I'm going to go to the translate, the transform tab, go to translate. I'm going to animate these guys. I'm going to do seconds times 0.5. That might be too fast, but let's take a look. I'm going to put that over in TZ also. Um, that's definitely going to be too fast. Whoa, that looks cool, but that's for another time. I'm going to crank these all the way down. I want 0 on the X and 0 0.01 on the Y. So that's got a nice wiggle to it, but it's wiggling a little too much. So let's bring this down to uh, 0.1 and 0.1 in the, um, the noise transform. So that's looking pretty nice and wiggly. Um, I like that a little bit. Let's see if there's anything else we can change. Um, let's try displacing this a little bit more. That's a little too much. I'm going to go, there we go. Um, something else I like doing is adding a couple of things from the palette. Now that we kind of have this base effect, I'm going to go up here, you know, trust the palette. The palette's it's going to treat you well. I am going to grab the RGBA delay. Um, that will kind of give it this nice VHS effect. I'm going to pull this into here and pull that down over there. And you can see we have this nice little uh, thing coming in over here. These nice little delay color distortions. Play around with the col colors a little bit. Um, yeah, that's good. Another thing you can do, which I like to do, is bring in the twirl. So over here, I can bring in this twirl, put it in front of this composite over here, and bring that in. And that's a little bit too much. Let's twirl that down way less. And let's move that more to the center. And that's pretty nice. Bring it down a little bit so it's not really affecting that. And that's nice. We have a nice little kind of goo there. And OK, we're, move, we're moving somewhere. So now at this point, I think it's good to start playing a little bit more with this texture over here. Um, there's a couple things we can do. I'm just going to copy this, which I like to do. 
and bring this over here. Then I am going to put in a switch so we can switch between things very easily. Um, so now what I'm going to do is pl plug this in and put this into index one. What I'll do is I'm going to add a new key in here that has an alpha of one. And what that is going to do is create this blank blank space. So I'm going to switch this over to a vertical um, thing and a uh, vertical type. And let's do that by negative four. And now we have this really nice motion coming in. Um, actually, what I want to do is maybe I'll even get rid of this blue and turn this into a black also. Just create lots of space. I think that has a really nice effect to it. And, you know, let's move that over. Create a lot of room. And you know, there's tons we can do. I think thinking about this mess with the back, the black background, and what you can do by creating ramps that have negative space in them. There's a lot of really cool stuff you can do. Um, could really spend a lot of time on it, but I'm already going pretty a little bit long. So I'll show you one more thing. Um, I'm going to do a noise. And I'm going to turn this to 1280 by 720. And we're going to put this into a lookup. And take these colors over here. And then put that into the switch. And what I'll do here is I'm going to play with this a little bit. period. I think this will work better with a ramp that is not moving. There we go. And we just want to make this move now. And let's make this move. We're going to go abs time dot seconds. It's going to disappear. It's five. Go to tile, go down to mirror, and that's looking nice. Let's just animate this noise a little bit. Go to the translate page and in the Z axis. That's too fast. Let's make that times 0.2. And again, I just want to introduce a little black space in there. And that's looking pretty nice. Cool. All right, so we have a couple different options for how this can look. Um, yeah, let's move this up a little bit. Yeah, maybe even increase the speed a little bit. Excellent, all right. So this is a great place. Um, I think we've recreated kind of the basic look from uh, Mishko. And you know, you can do some more stuff to get it more gooey or um, you know, add some more of these effects. That's, um, you know, there's a lot you can do from here. But I'm gonna show you what I took it for my direction, which I thought um, was a nice effect and kind of get it to that fisheye look. So I'm actually going to turn off this transform um, comp over background. And what I'm going to do is put this into a constant, because this is going to be the material for our geometry. I'm going to bring in a sphere. And I'm going to put that into a texture, which is really important put that into a null. Um, then from here, I'm going to right click, 
go into comp and hit my geometry. I am going to setting up my render network right now. So let's go into a camera. That's a bone. No, can't have that. Uh, the camera. We need a light. And we need a render. Excellent. So I'm going to turn off this viewer. And now I want a null from here. That's looking good. I want to take this constant and apply it to the geometry as a material. And that's looking nice. I'm going to put the transform over here again so we can have a black background. Excellent. So what I want to do is kind of give it this weird squishy look. So I'm going to actually change the camera to be orthographic. I'm going to change, move this up a little bit. And I'm going to put a projection top here. Um, yes. It's going to give me an error. We want to go to input and change this to equi rectangular and then change the output to fisheye. That's going to be a little funky. Let's crank this up to 300. and then change the rotation to 90. Excellent, so that's starting to look like my initial example. I am going to change the sphere a little bit. Let's change the, the radius so it is about uh, 145. I'm going to change the height so that it is 0 0.7. Maybe take that down even a little bit more. And I'm going to change the Z so it's uh, 0 0.8. Not sure that really did anything. I am going to add a little bit of a noise over here to give it just a little bit of movement. Um, that's a little bit too much. Let's bring the roughness down to 0. And exponent up kind of to like 2.1 or so. And let's bring the amplitude down a little bit more so it's not moving so much. That's cool. I like that. A very important thing now. Um, I cannot lie, I have been really leaning on this in a lot of my work to use the bloom because it just looks really, really nice. Um, so I'm going to put this in front of the projection and put that into the transform. And always remember to close up the palette. We don't need that anymore. I'm going to crank the glow, up, the glow level up a little bit. I'm going to crank the intensity down. And we're just going to want to play with things until we get that nice little glow that we like. Whoa, what did I do there? Um, yeah, that's nice. That's got that nice glow I'm looking for. And that's looking pretty good right now. I think there's a lot we can do here. I am going to go to the beginning of my network. Not the beginning. Right before I go into the material. I'm going to go back to this transform we're not using anymore. I'm going to go to tile. Go to repeat. And I'm going to animate this translate X. And now we have this really nice animation effect. Then we're going to turn down that noise even more. Excellent. So you kind of have a, diff a couple of different things you can do here. Um, you can apply this on the TY also. make this a little bit faster and there's a lot of cool typography stuff you can do for this um, with this I mean the world is you really your oyster if you want to make the text really readable you know I would probably just leave 
it on one axis. I'm going to do that in the negative direction also, because I think it's more readable there. And that's, uh, that's kind of the core of this technique, you know? Um, yeah, I hope this was helpful. Um, I can expand on this if you want, but I think this is a good stopping point. I think one last thing I want to show, actually, is coming back over to this texture. I, I want to show that you can even go to download some footage. I'm going to go to Pexels. And I was using, actually, a surfer. I'm going to get a video. Pexels is my favorite free stock footage site. I use it in so much of my touch stuff. Um, I think, which was the one? Yeah, this is good. So I'm going to download this, bring it into Touch Designer. I am actually going to do a lookup as well with this um, surfer guy I brought in. This is looking pretty psychedelic. And bring this into the switch. Let's look at this over on the transform. If I turn off this thing and go here, just showing that you can use kind of anything as a texture. Let's put a little monochrome in front of this first. Yeah, that's nice. And that's really it, you know. Um, I showed a bunch of different techniques in here. If anything was confusing or I went too fast anywhere, just hop in the comments. Um, let me know what you liked about this, what worked, what didn't work for you, and hopefully there won't be so much of a gap between tutorials next time. So enjoy and good luck. Thank you.